Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to talk about this today. <sighs> What's going on, you guys? Jonathan Baker here. Welcome to the next episode of the vlog series. Holy cow, how long has it been since I've done the previous episode? Hmm. I think it's been at least a few days already, but now it's time to get the series underway. If you guys haven't seen the previous episode, you may know it's in the corner. You can check that out. You can also find the link in the description below, and you are good to go. So anyway, guys, I have been gone for six days off the vlog series, and I think tonight is the night that I do videos and also talk a lot about different things. Well, tonight, I got something to show y'all. This uh, box right here is filled with expired game tickets and also baseball cards. I have decided something. Because I collect these baseball cards, I've decided to order me a scrapbook. That way, when I do get new baseball cards they are a collector's edition in a scrapbook you know they, they'd be good for generations and literally you know my uncle Robert he collected baseball cards he had two boxes up in the loft when I was last there and, uh, I told myself, these cards, they don't need to be in a box. They need to be in a collector's edition case, you know, where all your baseball cards go. And they need to be held as collector items. Now, as you guys may know, these are, uh expired game tickets. They are no longer good, but they are also souvenir tickets. Now, as you guys can see, this ticket right here is when we faced the Midland Rockhounds, and it does say who they're facing and stuff. But, uh, anyway, here's the next game ticket. This is when Duncan and I got to see the Corpus Christi Hooks. And these tickets right here, uh, the next ones I'm going to show y'all, they are old game tickets. These tickets are three years old because I've had them for a long time. This one doesn't have a name on them. And they tend to get owed but they are good collector items I have one more game ticket to show y'all and literally this is what it's supposed to look like and uh, yeah this was the ticket that was given to me on April 7th that was day number two of opening day and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good game. The Rockhounds won that. And, uh, they did pretty good. Now, I do remember that it was myself, my dad, my brother, and Uncle Robert that went to that game. And, uh, we enjoyed it. It was a good game, you know. And then after that, my uncle and me went to another game. And this was game two of the Midland series where, you know, they were facing the Arkansas Naturals for another game. Now let's get on to baseball cards. Our first 
card is Jeremy Brown. And as you guys can see, this is a collector item baseball card. And literally, I'm going to tell you what they did throughout their career. And Jeremy was named to the freshman All-American team hitting .347 with 15 HRs and 69 RBIs for Alabama's Crimson Tide. He was selected by Oakland in the first round of the 2002 draft. He is rated as Oakland's 14th prospect. And that is Jeremy Brown. Now our next one is Chris Mobius. And he was a former Rock Hound. And what he did, he was selected by the A's in the 13th round of the 2001 draft. And that was Chris Mobius. Our second one is, well, I'm sorry, our third one is Jason Perry. And he was a former rock count. And, uh, oh my gosh, I just dropped the card. What he did, he hit a combined point three oh five for the Dundin and Modesto in 2003. He was later named in a trade between Oakland and Toronto. And... This is the card right here. Now, Mike Oquist, this is what he, what he looks like right now. I mean, he's, he's really good. Mike's major league debut was in August of 1993 with Baltimore he has played in seven big league seasons, the last three with the A's, 1997 through 1999. And guys, we all know that the Rock Hounds was not established during this time. In history, we know that the Rock Hounds were known as the Midland Angels, and secondly known as as the Midland Cubs and in 2002 you know the Rock Hounds got their name and it, it was it's a good name you know I like it I mean it's good to know your team name John McCurdy this is our next former Rock Hound and, uh, yeah, these rock hounds disappear. And they go off to bigger and better things. John was selected in the first round of the 2002 draft. He was a 2002 second team All-American and is rated Oakland's 19th prospect. And... Literally, guys, this is John McCurdy. Last but not least, we have Mike Crowell. And Kyle, Kyle Crowell was selected in the eighth round of the 2000 draft. He was Conference USA Pitcher of the Year in 1999 and 2000 and first team All-American in 2000 for the University of Houston. Now, this is still the time when Midland was known as the Midland Cubs. And a few years later, you know, they got their name as the Rockhounds. And they 
were known as the Texas League Division. You know, and San Antonio and Frisco, they are also known as Texas League Divisions. And you got your Arkansas Division, you know, you got all kinds of stuff. I did leave out one team, though, in the Texas Division, and that was Corpus Christi Hooks. I mean, all these teams are really good, you know, they, they play pretty good ball, and... I like to just be there to cheer on for the rock hounds and you know you know because they are my favorite team and you know being a fan of the Midland Rock Hounds you know I'm a fan for life and you know my uncle Robert he was a fan for life cuz he would always go to each and every game and I think he went to games that he was a part of during the 1999-2002 years when he actually saw the Midland Cubs is no longer in business. And now he got to see the Midland Rockhounds get their name from the manager or whoever gave their name to him but I don't know <laughs> but anyway I haven't seen much of Uncle Uncle Ronnie you know because it's been a very long time I do know that he is moving to Midland and there is a video that I'm going to show you guys. And well, he's been busy for the past two months. And, and now it's nearly our third month that he's going to be busy. Well, he just got new roofing material. You know, he's fixing the inside pretty good. I still remember that that house that he lives in is Uncle Robert's house and his brother in the will gave him that house and you know when I go back I think Uncle Robert you know he gave his brother everything that he had and that's when he passed on you know I do miss my uncle I miss him a lot. You know, the whole family does. And it will never, ever be the same without him. I do know he's in a good place. And, you know, I know he's watching down upon this family. And he's just waiting for us to be up there with him. And, you know, one of these days it will happen. One of these days, I will not be here. My whole family will not be here. And most likely, this is why I'm doing these videos, is to make a memory, you know, out of my life. And out of what I loved out of it, you know, I, I loved everything about my life. Most likely there was bad times, there was good times, you know, but I would never put my mind on a serious thought like what I had back then. You know. But, uh, it's always good to think about positive things. And, you know, just to be happy. And, you know, I, I will never, ever put my mind on a negative thing. Because it doesn't do you any good when you think about negative things. You know, you could be angry at someone. But how much do you love them? You love them a lot. And, 
literally when I was when I was like 12 years old or 13 I was angry at everybody and I soon had to realize that anger can destroy you and it really can and I, I came to the decision that I had to trust I had to learn how to do it and you know trust goes both ways and yeah it, it, it really does now back on to what I was talking about and stuff um, my my brother and my dad and Uncle Ronnie went to go visit my my Uncle Robert's grave and you know I wasn't there I felt like I wish I could be there to show my support to be next to his grave and just looking at it and saying it has been hard to know that you're not here with us anymore and it, it really has been I mean thing, things are bound to change and I know that my whole family knows that you know and, and literally that's what's bound to happen um anyway guys I think this is all that I have for right now I wanted to talk about baseball cards and expired game tickets and also my uncle you know my uncle's doing pretty good I mean, I haven't seen him after my Uncle Robert's funeral. I know he's doing good. I know that pretty soon I'll be seeing him face to face again. And literally just stepping into his new house. Which I am going to give you guys a new tour. Because everything's different now. It wasn't like the way it was back then. Because everything now, you know, he's got new roof, he's got new countertops, he's got places where his dishes go, you know. But I can still tell you guys that is part of the Baker home. And literally, it is. It's going to be a good house. I can't wait till he finishes it. But, uh... Yeah. It reminds me of me getting an apartment one of these days. You know, just moving away from here. I think about moving. You know, I think about taking care of myself. And I know my dad just doesn't trust me right now with moving. He thinks, oh, my son is still just a little kid. I mean, I mean... I don't know what he's saying right now. I'm not a little kid. I'm 24. You know, I should have been out when I was 18, but I'm not. I'm still with my dad. But, you know, pretty soon, that will change. And that's going to be a guaranteed promise. That will change. And everything well we hope you guys enjoy this video I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about different things you know I do sound like my uncle most of the time I talk about random things just to you know put my voice out there and let it be heard and stuff and showing you guys cool things which I like about this uh box right here and uh yeah well anyway i'm gonna show you guys a video later on um i think my uncle's got something for us 
you know, just to welcome him back on the vlog series, because I know it's been a long time. Um, anyway, we'll see y'all later. Don't forget to make wise choices, and always remember to keep it rockin'.